Okay, old Papa here. I get a lot of questions about how I shine my my copper, my brass mods. You can tell this one's it's got a little bit of shine to it, but it's got a lot of patina on it too. It's nothing really special. I like to uh, give me a clean rag and lay out. Got my mother's polish, of course, about the only thing I use. I've tried Cape Cod cloth and I've tried a little bit of everything. This this stuff right here seems to work the best on copper and brass. Sometimes I'll take my copper and I'll put it in Tarnix first before I polish it. But just for demonstration purposes, I'll just go with the dirty mod. Got my stack over there. It's patina pretty good. I'll grab it real quick. It's <clears throat> my stack. You can tell that's patina pretty good. And that's kind of what I'm, I was looking for. I didn't want to take that patina off. I was going to polish this mod instead. But as you can tell, it's got that iridescent purples and blues. And it is, it's just it's starting to really, really look good. So. I'm gonna leave that one alone. I use that one to vape on while I'm doing this. Grab me some more juice here because I like to vape while I'm polishing. Right out of juice here in this little bottle. So struggling here. That's what we got anyway. So what we do, I normally Got my glove on, of course. I don't want to get all that stuff on. Ooh. You can do it any way you... I mean, that's a lot of pre preferences. For me, it's not really a preference. It's just it's about doing something and doing it, I guess, by hand. I guess you could use a drill press. You could use uh, the Arbor that Scott sells. Uh, hand drill steel wool you could use just about anything you want so what I do I get my rag and you can tell this one's already been used I like to use the same rags over and over and it's not a microfiber it's just a little rag that I get from my, my son-in-law he works at the hospital and the overs that they have on their surgeries I get the rags so I have an endless supply of rags this rag here I use sometimes to polish with but I like to put on with one rag and take off with another. So what I do, I'll dip, get a pretty good bit of polish on this thing. I'll take my mod and I just, I like to put my top on my mod so I don't get it on the inside of the threads. I only use Tarnax on the inside of my mod. So I do my button, the outside of my buttons with this. I do the top part of it with this. I use my, for my dripper, the sleeves I use this so normally what I do I take the dripper pull the cotton out rinse it off real well dry it put the sleeve on it without the drip tip that way I get a consistent polish throughout the mod and the the, the, the sleeve itself so just for this purpose I ain't gonna do my sleeves cuz I like the patina I got over here so what I do is I just Get a little water rag between my fingers and dip it down in here and I just start applying. And I just rub, rub, and rub. And I try to stay in the same spot for, you know, 8, 10, 12 seconds. Just rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. And you can tell when the patina starts wearing off of it, you'll start seeing a, a real black. It starts turning black on you. I just... I like to rub it and rub it and rub it till it starts turning really black. And then I'll just rotate my mod, give me a little more polish on my rag. And what I do, I try to use that same spot of polish on there. That way it kind of forms to your mod. Just rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. don't really have to put a lot of pressure on it it's just basically the chemical reactions and the polish and the compounds and the polish that really does the work for you 
I like to use a lot of polish, you know. Let that polish get in that rag real good. Just polish, 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 polish. As you can tell that, I don't know if you can really tell, but you can see the, the form of your rag. It kind of forms to your mod. That way it, it does a pretty good size surface area there. You know, a lot of people like to use steel wool, two-step steel wool, 0 .003 and a .0004, four alt, three alt, two stage, and then they use flits. You know, flits basically does the same thing this does. The polish kind of takes the machine work marks out of it, the little little swirls and the brush and the brush polish that the mods come with. Some mods come already polished, but the mods, these coppers, they normally don't come polished. They they have the machine swirls and stuff like that on them. So this polish does pretty good. It's probably the best polish other than the flits I've seen so far. And everybody asks how you get your mods shiny. Well, this is how I do it by hand. Everything by hand. Just rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. I put some on there this morning. I shine my brass stacks and a mirror finish every time a couple more pots I polished number 59 three times number three has been polished you know a dozen or so but once you get them polished if you keep them clean they don't they don't take just a minute this one right here hasn't been polished but three or four times since I've done it and it's pretty patented up so just rub 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 and I like to rub it when I finally get to the point where I think I've got all the patina off the mod, I try to just keep rubbing until this polish starts drying as I'm rubbing. And you you can tell you'll start getting right here, you'll start getting a like a copper shine on your polish on the rag itself. So you know that it's actually taking those micro scratches and the, the little fingerprints and, and whatever else you have on your mod. A lot of people get juice on their hands and and it kind of starts patinaing on their mods and sometimes that can be a little tough to get off of. But I like to rub this thing a pretty good bit. I guess about, it takes about 10 minutes. And I always rub in the same direction. I don't rub around and around. I rub up and down. So it don't take a lot of pressure. Just it's just time consuming, I guess. That's the biggest thing. By the way, that's 523. The only mods they use these copper mods. These scotch oil mods, they're the best thing on the market. I've tried the Apollos, I've tried the Rig, I've tried flagships, I've tried a lot of different mods. I just had never found one I really liked till I bought these and then I started buying them I bought a bunch of them so well, as you can tell I'm eight minutes into a polish and just keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing till you see your polish start drying up and you can tell like I said you get a real copper sheen on on your polishing rag I'm, I'm shorting this up a little bit I'm not gonna quite do it as long as I normally do it I've got a pretty good polish in this rag probably can do two or three more mods with it but As you can tell when that polish starts drying as you're as you're polishing it it leaves like a little spots and you can actually see the machine marks start coming through on the metal the real deep marks but that's the way I, I apply my polish I've polished for I guess eight eight nine minutes so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get a rag that I've already same 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 rag, same surgical rag. No, nothing, 
nothing special. And I get me a good little water right there, and and I use the same spot to to start wiping this polish off. And I can tell that it, it just it's shining, it's shining already. I can tell it wasn't a whole lot of work. Maybe wipe some of this polish off my gloves so it don't transfer back to my shiny spots. As you can tell, it, that shine is starting to come through on it really good. I just rotate it around, taking it off, but I guess you do wax on and wax off. Same thing. I used to use car wax after this process. Car wax kind of keeps the oils from your hands from patina on your mods so fast. It does copper a lot quicker than it does the brass. Just rub it, rub it, and rub it. Really nothing special. Just make sure you get all the polish off of it. Don't have to apply a whole lot of pressure to it. But I use the same spot on the rag. Don't try to use a clean spot on the rag. Still get some polish on my hand. I'm gonna go ahead and get this polish off this top piece. I don't really use the 510. I use these hybrid drippers. So I don't polish these quite as much as I just like to keep the threads from getting a lot of polish in them. Just rub it and rub it and rub it. Try not to touch it with your hands. That's why I wear the glove because as you can tell it. That thing right there is shiny. Woo. I try to use the same rag to take it off as every time because there's little residues. You can use this rag on a daily basis and once you take the polish off with, you can uh use these rags on a daily basis to kind of keep the hand patina off of them. If you do it every day, you can uh, save yourself a lot of polishing time. I try to keep them clean. The cleaner you keep them, the better they are. You know, it's less resistance in the mod if, you let, if your battery doesn't have to travel through patina. If you got a lot of patina on your mod, it kind of cuts back on your it's a lot of voltage drop, I guess you could say. It doesn't the power doesn't travel as fast and as hard. But normally I'll I'll take that button out. Most of the time I'll take my buttons out, but this time I didn't. Tarnax the inside of the mod before I start polishing. Gives you a clean mod inside and out. I just want to show my polishing process because everybody asks me how I get my mod so shiny. I say use this and use that. Well, I use one thing. Elbow grease and mother's aluminum and mag polish. That's all I use other than the Tarnax on the inside of my mods. Do not use Tarnax on brass. They make a brass, Tarnax does make a brass cleaner, but I do not use Tarnax on the inside of my mods, on, on my brass mods. I just use polish. Make sure you don't get any polish in your bent holes. That way if you have an accident you don't have to worry about nothing. Okay, there's my finished product right there. As you can tell, it's almost a mirror finish. Been working on it for 15 minutes. But that's how I shine my mods, fellas. Nothing special. No steel wool, no microfiber cloth, just plain out elbow grease and time. That's all it takes. If you love what you do, take a little time to, and you can tell huh, this one's patinaed up pretty, pretty good. I like that patina. These little, look, you can see the, see the difference right there in a patina mod and a 
fresh or clean mine. Look, you can see the computer screen in that. Look. That's a clean mod right there. And the cleaner you keep them, the better they bake. Scott Carson, he uh, takes a lot of pride in what he does. Cause what he does is great. He, he builds a great product, U.S. made. And once you keep them, once you get them clean, if you keep them clean, then a lot of times you can just take this rag that you polish with and hit it right after you get done with it at night or something. Just kind of give it a good rub down. Next day it'll be shiny for you. I love it, shiny mods. I call it the epic shine. It'll pop all these. Look at there. That's shiny or what? I just don't see spending a whole pile of money on some polish that costs a lot of money. Buying steel wool, something else to worry about. I use rags and polish. And that's what you get right there. So guys, I hope that was a, a useful video for you. And maybe that'll put a little a little ease, ease to your minds and don't take a whole lot to polish these things. Look, shiny, shiny, shiny. One day I'll knock the patina off this one right here. That's nasty one. In the next video I do, I'll do this one right here because I can make it look the same way. I'll take them little little hand, hand prints. All right, guys. Oh, uh, like I said, Look at that shine. Oh, pop off. Oh, pop off. He, he ain't no dummy now. It just don't take it don't take a lot to get these things to shine up like you want. You just can't put your fingers on them while you're polishing. You can't tell you gotta wear this glove. These gloves will keep you from having to repolish a bunch. Like I said, you got your polishing rag that I use over and over and over and my rag to take the polish off. And I use this rag over and over and over. I, if, if it gets to the point where I think it's got too much on it, and you can always tell. You just got to rub it. But, but when it gets shiny, I try to make it even shinier, but I just don't think it's going to get any better than that. All right, guys. Well, Paul, Paul, we're going to uh, leave it with you. Go get you some of that right there. That stuff right there will make your mod shine. Just takes a little elbow grease, a couple of good rags. So y'all guys take it easy. We're gonna uh, see if we can't get this posted so some of these other guys that are asking me how I keep my mods so shiny can actually see what's going on and how I do it. Since they think I got a secret process, there's nothing secret about this. It's just polishing elbow grease. So guys, y'all be good, keep it safe. Don't build nothing that you can't vape on. Old Paul Paul said that. Y'all be good.